Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're putting two products to the test. We're going to be looking at this dryer and the brush if they really do equals to this dryer and styler. So if you're interested in knowing the results, stay tuned. In today's video, we're going to be looking more into how this air dryer and styler works. And also, I've been using this air dryer for years and I normally use this brush in brushing my hair. So, we're going to be finding out if I use both of them using different types of my hair. As you can see, I've got natural hair at the moment. So, I'm going to show you how I achieve this look with my hair and also using this too. So, we'll find out at the end of this video which one works best. So, this one step air dryer and styler, this will detangle your hair, it will dry it, it will smoothen it. In half of the time, it will take you to use a dryer. Also, this is boosted by Ionic technology, which makes it faster and smoother and gives you a really nice shine when you do blow dry your hair and style it at the same time. It has two heat settings. So this first one is for the highest and this second one here is for medium heat and this one is for cooling. That's for cool. This is for cooling short and this last one is for if you want to switch it off. This is ideal for medium to long hair and it also comes with a four year guarantee. This glides through your hair, it would detangle, dry and smoothen your hair in half of the time it would take for you to use a blow dryer. So we're going to put that to test today to see if that's actually true. So this is my old faithful ways of professional air dryer. It also has the ionic technology as well but I've had this for years, I've been using it for over five years now and it is absolutely brilliant. So this is the, it's also got two settings, one setting is for, the one setting is for the temperature and the next setting is for the speed and it's also got a cooler here which is really good. But what's really really cool about this is the infrared light, so never mind the noise but if I put it on. The only thing is, most of the extra part that it comes with, I don't really use them because it comes with a comb, but you see my hair, it's not gonna work. It keeps falling off, so I have to use a brush. So I use this brush and I use this to normally dry my hair. I use a detangler first, then I use a brush, and then I use this dryer. So I'm gonna be taking you through this process and then we're going to find out which one works best. You see my one step, air dryer and styler and you save my old faithful dryer which has to use a brush and let's get into it so what i've done is the day before i'd washed my hair a day before and i twisted it so that's the reason why it's all corny the way it is at the moment so what i'm going to do is pack them into two sides and on the left hand side that i'm touching right now is where i'm going to be experimenting with the air dryer, my old air dryer. At the moment, I'm just detangling it so that it's um, detangled and easy for me to dry out. Now that it's all the tangle, I'm going to take it section by section and then use a brush going with my brush that I normally use. Again, okay, I'm going to section them and start blow drying them in sections. to pack it into one and then move on to my right hand side where I'm going to be using the one step 
dryer and stander. Yes, it's all nice and smooth as I normally have. So I'm going to, to play a bit fair here. I am also going to go in with my detangler brush first. I know it does say it does detangle and it does dry at the same time, but I'm going to just go in because my hair is quite coily. So I am going to go in first with the detangler brush and then start to blow dry. Okay, so here I'm using my detangler brush just to make it even to give it a fair game as well because my hair is quite coiled up. As you can see, it's a bit it's a bit tangled up at the moment, so that's the reason why I'm using a detangler brush, especially at the edges. Now that that is all nicely detangled, I am now going to start settling them and just going straight with the dry and styler. See, that's just a lot more easier. So all you're doing is literally just brushing it. And I'm also just kind of put it in a bit more even though I haven't really sessioned it it's just a bit easier to dry one side and put a bit more so I'm going to session it again and then blow dry it again so that is really really good Okay, this is sectioning. It's taking me a lot less of time. It's been very, very easy to just brush it and know that it's going to dry and it's going to straighten at the same time. That it's really, really easy. And I'm taking more in, in more chunks at a section than previous. But it's taking more strokes as well to get it to straighten out. Oh, look at that. So, and as you can see, it's a bit more easy to kind of comb everything out at the same time. It's really good, it's very easy and now they're both done. So if you can see, there's a, diff there's a slightly difference in my right hand hair and my left hand hair. Mm, my right hand hair is a bit more even, evenly straightened and the left one is not as even as my right one. But either way, they've both done a very good job. So I'm just going to pat my right hand side at the moment and you can see they both straighten out. It's just my right hand is a lot more evenly straightened out than my left hand. See if I can show you from the front. So this is what it looks like in close up. If you look more closely at it, this is what it looks like. They, I think they look exactly the same from the roots. And the only difference is the consistency, I think. Um, and that's what it looks like from the front of my hair. So, I'll pat that as well. And they say this is the front, this is what it looks like. My hair from the front, as you can see, both are both parts now. I mean, if I went out like this, I don't think anyone would have noticed that I used two different air dryers at the moment but it was definitely quicker to use the one step air dryer and styler so now i am going to go ahead and straighten it so it will look a lot more presentable based on the experiment i believe that the one step dryer and styler is definitely a winner you would save a lot of time by just using one instrument to 
dry your hair. Also, you will save a lot of space in your cupboard because you only need just this one instrument, which I think is really good. I would still always skip this, but um, I think moving forward, this one step dryer and styler is going to be a winner for me. So if you've used this, uh, let us know how you're getting on. If you have any other tips out there that could save time on drying our hair, let us know. And if you have any more questions, leave a comment for me below. If you like today's challenge, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and see you later.